Hello, Sean Kavanagh here with another Aussie Target video. In this one we're going to talk about elevation data. Okay, so how to get this into Aussie Explorer. First thing you need to do is go to the Aussie Explorer website, go to Aussie Explorer 3D, find the download link and download that. Once it's downloaded you want to install it and uh, restart Aussie Explorer and uh, I'm not going to install it because I've already done it but once it's installed you'll get this 3D elevation menu up the top here. From here once you open up your map wherever you are to get the elevation data you need to actually download it for the map or for the area where you're flying. So you've got two options you've got the world data at three seconds or USA has got one second data. Now there is a way to get one second data for the rest of the world this is all part of the um, STRM data which is uh, from the shuttle terrain mapping uh, stuff so it is actually available but it's just a bit more complicated so this way you can just get the three second data really quickly for anywhere else in the world but basically open up your map click on this it will tell you the sections that it needs to download and um, click download depending on the size of the map and the number of tiles it's got to download uh, it'll only take a few seconds unless you're on Australian internet and uh, it's going painfully slow it'll extract it, once it's done it it gets rid of it and downloads the next tile too long, extracts it, installs it, deletes the zip file, you get a download complete message and you're done. And now you've got your elevation data showing up here. So as you move your mouse around the map it's showing you the ground elevation. Now that may show up for you in meters to start off with. If you go to your configuration under map you can change your altitude units to meters or feet depending on uh, on what's your poison. So I'll leave that on feet. And likewise if we op open up uh, Aussie Target elevation says no data because we're not navigating but if I pull up the simulator put it there start navigating you'll see that we've now got our elevation at 1086 feet and uh, as I fly across the map here elevation data is going to change. If you want to get the AGL data then obviously I need to have uh, altitude data coming in either through the simulator or through my actual GPS which I'm not going to do now. So there you go that's uh, your elevation data. A um, <coughs> couple of other I suppose quick tricks with this uh, that you can still do without the um, uh, the fully registered version. You can actually generate a small section of map and uh, you can draw a box on your map and tell it to create a 3D map. It'll open up 3D Um, because I was on the world map it's not actually loading in the texture but you can see there you've got the uh, the section of map in 3D uh, if this was a normal map image uh, then you'd actually have that overlaid on there as well and there's a whole bunch of controls and stuff in there but I'm not going to go into that in this video but um, but you can play with that. This map is obviously are you sure you do not to know this map? Yes I'm sure. So there you go, that's your um, 3D elevation data and a, a very quick look at the 3D map control. Um, personally I don't really use it but uh, the elevation I certainly use all the time. Thanks for watching.